Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be discussing the balance patch that just got added to the Korean version of Black Desert Online. Now this balance patch, while I am very happy with it, came with a lot of issues that will most likely be fixed at a later date. There are a lot of things we have to go over, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start off with the big meat and butter of this patch and the big thing that you have to remember when reading this patch is that there has been additional feature added to the game known as enlightenment i believe that's what it's going to be called on the north american version but it's been up until now known as second awakening but we're going to call it enlightenment it may be called skill fusion but i'm pretty sure we're just going to call it enlightenment enlightenment is when you can combine two abilities together to create a new ability there are going to be more enlightenments added throughout the remainder of black desert's lifespan but for now every class only has two different options for now you can only choose one enlightenment ability instead of uh, the both of them you can only have one at a time so you're gonna have to choose which provides some build variety to players and supposedly you are able to swap this on the fly but I'm not sure if this is just a temporary thing or not I'm not sure so yeah the enlightenment uh, outside of this patch note the only reason I've gotten this information is from watching some Korean streams briefly but the patch notes don't really go over that and also this is a roughly translated patch notes but nonetheless we do have a lot of information to go on here so let's start off with the biggest one the one I talked about yesterday which would be Dark Knight. Dark Knight getting nerfed was something that had to happen and it sets a precedent for the game. I've been saying it for the longest time, Dark Knights are just too freaking strong, guys. They had too much going for them. When I first uh, reviewed Dark Knights, I didn't see that as an issue until recently as their AP scales higher and as the game continues on, it's only gotten progressively worse. And the only option they had was to, ner was to nerf something that she had. And then the strongest thing that they decided to nerf was her iframes. Now I'm not trying to say that Dark Knight is a completely useless class now, everyone knows that's not the case. They didn't touch her damage, they didn't touch her cooldowns. The only thing they did is they removed a lot of iframes and they made it where uh, some of uh, one of the iframes became a super armor and the other one removes stamina. So she loses stamina while using her iframes rather than just mana, so she uses mana and stamina now. Um, also, however, the, during the cooldown on some of her abilities, her invincibilities, there is no invincibility effect anymore. So she cannot use iframes while they are off cooldown like every other class in the game, which is very good. So once again, Dark Knights got a huge nerf in this patch. They were the only class that I can see that really got hit hard, but it had to be done. And after all of that, we can now move on into the big positive things that came from this patch. And the biggest thing is the Berserker. Berserker got a huge amount of buffs and those are all amazing, but the one that's kind of broken is his enlightenment ability, which allows him to spin. As you can see here, it, you can see this is not this is not working as intended. There are a lot of um, enlightenment abilities that aren't working as intended. For example, Ranger, whenever a Ranger enlightens, their shotgun does no damage, as you can see here. So. The enlightenment is obviously buggy, and what do you, what else do you expect from Pearl Abyss at this point? But these things, I'm sure, will be fixed within due time. But for now, we're just gonna have to go on what we have, and it looks like Zerkers are gonna be a lot more able to deal a lot more damage. I'm sure it won't be this much, but I think it's gonna be a lot more damage even after this gets nerfed. So Zerkers are in a very good place. Valkyries got buffed a lot. Musa's got buffed, but in a small sense, uh, it's hard to say exactly. Musa's got buffed. They added a forward block to to projection, which is an ability that that is their ultimate. So they added a forward block to that, which is very nice. To, and they lowered the cooldown of that, and they also lowered the cooldown by below the belt, which is one of, if not the strongest ability Musa has. So Musa did get buffed, but it isn't just by a large amount. But you also have to take in mind that the second awakenings or the enlightenments i should say also buffed these classes especially maywa while maywa didn't really get any buffs at all on this uh, patch note she did get it through her enlightenment as you can see here her abilities in her pre-awakening form do a lot of massive damage that add up to her 
that add to her awakening so she did get buffed in that regard and the same can be said for kunoichi as you can see here kunoichi shredding through people um she got a buff in a way that is through the pre-awakening rather than the awakening so it's very nice to see this kind of stuff happening to these classes i'm very happy there were no uh buffs to tamer that i can see here but it may have happened through their enlightenment abilities but i've yet to see that also there were no buffs to striker warrior or mystic there were just a few flow changes to miss uh to mystic and striker but not really huge buffs there or nerfs at all so that's something to keep in mind also wizard and witches were not really touched much they allow them to move their poison and fire fields which i don't see that as much of a buff at all i'm guessing that allows them to take it off and turn it off whenever they feel i'm not sure valks getting buffed is nice along with their pve damage is nice rangers got a big buff which allows them to recover mana back um, in their awakening form, which is something Rangers have been crying for for a long time. Very happy for you Rangers out there that still play the class, good for you. So Rangers are gonna be a lot better now as well. Sorks haven't really seen much of a buff, but uh, at all, but through, through their, through their pre-awakening, we may see more. I've yet to see a, a, a Sork be too happy with the enlightenment abilities. So, so far the patch is a small success. The, a lot of the Koreans are actually pretty happy with what's come out of this thing, other than Dark Knights, obviously, as well as the Giants who are just too broken right now, but I'm almost 100% sure that's gonna be nerfed as soon as possible, so keep that in mind. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this. I'll post a link to the patch notes in the description or in the comment box so you guys can check it out. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this patch notes. Uh, keep in mind, there's a lot of stuff that's subject to change. Uh, we should be getting this patch within the next month in NA. I wouldn't, I would be surprised if we didn't get it by then, but hopefully by then all the kinks will be worked out. Um, yeah, so it's your boy Hero. Make sure you guys subscribe and yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.